Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of the human body and its ability to heal itself? It doesn't matter if you get rid of all the karma in one lifetime. It's not expected, it's too hard, it's too much. Do what you can. Enter Dolores Cannon, a trailblazer in the realm of spiritual healing and hypnosis. From her humble beginnings as a Navy wife, Dolores was catapulted into the forefront of spiritual research, driven by an insatiable curiosity about the unseen and the unexplained. Her exploration into the mystical realms of the human consciousness was not merely a hobby, but a lifelong passion. Dolores Cannon's journey into the unknown began with a simple fascination and blossomed into a legacy of healing. Chapter 1. Dolores Cannon's Discovery Dolores Cannon's journey led her to a remarkable discovery, a discovery that would change her life and impact countless others. Her exploration into the fascinating realm of past life regression and the subconscious mind was nothing short of extraordinary. Dolores Cannon, a renowned hypnotherapist and prolific author, ventured into the uncharted territories of the human mind. Her work, primarily focused on past life regression, allowed her to tap into the vast reservoir of the subconscious mind, a place where past, present and future are not separate, but intertwined. This exploration was not just a mere academic exercise for Dolores, it was her life's work, her passion, her calling. One of the most profound aspects of Dolores's work was her discovery of the seven healing centers on the human body. These healing centers, or dots, as she often referred to them, were revealed during hypnosis sessions. They represented specific points on the body that when accessed correctly, could bring about healing and wellness. But how did she come across such a discovery? While guiding her clients through their past lives, she noticed a pattern. Many clients, regardless of their background or personal history, would often mention these specific points during their sessions. Intrigued, Dolores began to delve deeper, studying these points and their correlation to the body's health and well-being. These seven points were not arbitrary. They were strategically located in areas associated with significant energy flow in the body. Each one had a unique role in promoting physical and emotional healing. They could be activated through a variety of methods, including meditation, visualization, and focused intention. This discovery, as simple as it was profound, changed the course of Dolores Cannon's work forever. It propelled her into a new direction, one that combined the wisdom of the past with the knowledge of the present. It allowed her to bridge the gap between science and spirituality, providing a holistic approach to healing and wellness. With this discovery, Dolores Cannon was not just a hypnotherapist or an author. She became a pioneer, a healer, and a beacon of light for those searching for answers in their journey towards wholeness and health. Chapter 2. The Seven Healing Centers But what exactly are these seven healing centers Dolores discovered? Let's uncover this fascinating concept. Imagine your body as a map with seven key locations, each possessing a unique potential for healing and growth. These are the seven healing centers that Dolores Cannon revealed through her work. Starting from the base, we have the root center, located at the base of the spine. It's associated with feelings of security and survival. When balanced, it provides a grounded sense of stability, but when blocked, it may lead to feelings of fear and insecurity. Moving upward, we find the sacral center, located in the lower abdomen. This is our hub of creativity and emotional expression. A balanced sacral center allows us to embrace change and experience our feelings fully. However, when it's blocked, it may cause emotional instability or creative blockages. The solar plexus center comes next, positioned in the upper abdomen. It's our personal power station, influencing our self-esteem and assertiveness. When it's in harmony, we feel confident and in control. 
a blocked solar plexus center may result in feelings of powerlessness or low self-esteem. The heart center, located in the middle of the chest, is the fourth healing center. It's where our capacity for love and compassion resides. A balanced heart center allows us to give and receive love freely. However, when it's blocked, it may lead to feelings of isolation or emotional detachment. Next, we have the throat center, which governs communication and truth. A balanced throat center allows us to express ourselves openly and honestly. If it's blocked, it can lead to communication struggles and dishonesty. The third eye center, positioned between the brows, is our intuition and foresight center. When it's balanced, we have a clear vision of our life's path. However, when blocked, it may cause confusion or a lack of clarity. Finally, at the top, we have the crown center, representing our connection to the universe and our higher self. A balanced crown center brings a sense of spiritual connection and enlightenment. When blocked, it may lead to feelings of disconnection or spiritual skepticism. Understanding these healing centers allows us to tap into the body's innate healing abilities. By nurturing these centers, we can unlock our potential for spiritual growth and physical well-being. Chapter 3. The Impact of Dolores – Cannon's Work Dolores Cannon's discoveries have had a profound impact on holistic healing practices. Her work, steeped in the exploration of the human psyche and the untapped potential of the mind, has revolutionized the way we perceive and interact with our inner selves. Dolores brought to the forefront the understanding that we are more than just physical beings. We are energetic entities intertwined in a cosmic dance, capable of healing ourselves and others through the power of our consciousness. This revelation has been a game changer in the field of holistic healing, leading to the development of new therapies and techniques that harness this inner power. Her innovative use of hypnosis, known as quantum healing hypnosis technique, has been particularly influential. This method takes individuals into the deepest possible level of trance, where they can access their higher self and uncover answers to their life's mysteries. It was through this technique that Dolores discovered the seven healing centers in our bodies, a revelation that has transformed the way practitioners approach energy healing today. In the realm of spiritual wellness, Dolores' work has served as a beacon of enlightenment. She has given us a roadmap to navigate our spiritual journey, helping us understand the complexities of our existence and our place in the universe. Her teachings have empowered countless individuals to embark on their path of self-discovery, fostering a deeper connection with their inner being and the world around them. Moreover, Dolores' work has transcended the boundaries of time, culture, and geography. Her books, lectures, and teachings continue to inspire spiritual seekers from all walks of life all around the globe. They have become invaluable resources for those seeking to understand the mysteries of their existence and the universe. In essence, Dolores Cannon's work has redefined our understanding of the self and the universe, paving the way for a new era of holistic healing and spiritual wellness. Her pioneering approach to hypnosis and energy healing has given us the tools to tap into our inner power and transform our lives. Her legacy continues to inspire and guide countless spiritual seekers around the globe. Chapter 4. Practical Use of the Healing Centers So how can we harness the power of these seven healing centers in our daily life? Well, the first step is to develop an awareness of these centers and their locations. Imagine them as points of light within your body. Each center holds a specific energy and corresponds to different aspects of your being, both physical and emotional. The first center, located at the base of the spine, relates to our sense of stability and grounding. When feeling anxious or unsteady, 
Focus your energy here, visualizing a warm red light. Moving upwards, the next center is found in the lower abdomen. This is the seat of our creativity and passion. Channel your energy towards this center when seeking inspiration or overcoming creative blocks. Picture it glowing with a vibrant orange light. The third center, nestled in the solar plexus, governs our sense of self and personal power. If ever you're feeling powerless or unsure of yourself, concentrate your energy in this area, envisioning a bright yellow light. The heart center, the fourth point, is the hub of love and compassion. When feeling disconnected or unloved, direct your energy towards this center, imagining a radiant green light. The fifth center, located in the throat, is linked to communication and expression. If you're struggling to express your thoughts or feelings, focus your energy here, visualizing a calming blue light. The sixth center, situated in the middle of the forehead, is associated with intuition and insight. When seeking clarity or guidance, channel your energy towards this center, picturing it illuminated by an indigo light. The final healing center at the crown of the head connects us to the divine and the universe. When feeling disconnected from the world or your spiritual path, focus your energy here, envisioning a brilliant violet light. Daily meditation and mindfulness can help you tune into these centers and their energies. Remember, it's not about forcing change, but rather allowing the energy to flow naturally, promoting balance and healing. With this knowledge, we can take a proactive role in our own healing journey. Chapter 5. Conclusion Dolores Cannon's journey into the spiritual realm has unveiled a new perspective on healing. Her discoveries, rooted in decades of meticulous research and profound spiritual exploration, have illuminated a path to wellness that transcends conventional wisdom. We've journeyed together through the life and work of Dolores Cannon, exploring the fascinating discovery of the seven healing centers. These are not just points on the body, but gateways to a deeper understanding of ourselves and our inherent potential for self-healing. The significance of these healing centers cannot be overstated. They represent a union of mind, body, and spirit, a holistic approach to well-being that echoes throughout Dolores' work. Each center, each dot, is a testament to the power of the human spirit and our intrinsic ability to heal ourselves. But our journey doesn't end here. The world of Dolores Cannon is as vast and intricate as the spiritual realm itself. There's so much more to explore, to discover. Her work is an invitation, a call to delve deeper into the mysteries of the self, to unlock the dormant power within, and to embark on a journey of self-discovery and healing. So let's take this knowledge, this wisdom, and use it as a beacon, guiding us on our own spiritual journeys. Remember, the potential for healing, for growth, for transformation, lies within each of us. As Dolores Cannon once said, we are far more powerful than we realize. Thank you, dear friends.